What is good, Mama Squad? squad? And welcome, welcome back to our, our channel. We are finally back to our filming schedule. Pranks, challenges, everything. Wait, you talking about pranks already? I had some lined up on my. You want to start that back up? Honey, you're you a wife know, now. Yeah, you're a wife now. And I'm the wife that's going to be dominating the husband. Technically, wait, have we not had a prank yet on a, a husband and wife? No. Dude. Who's going to be the first one? Me. No. Just get ready. Just get ready. Just get ready. Marble Squad, DM me on Instagram. Not DM me. Or hit me up on Snapchat and privately so we can see some Oh, yeah. If you hit us up on Snapchat, it'll really be private because we don't have our Snapchats linked to each other. I know. Mm -hmm. Um, but today we are doing a life update. I feel like the last few videos have just been wedding, wedding, wedding. And we just want to sit down and have a conversation. I feel like you guys have a lot of questions and a lot of things about the wedding, our new home, kids, so many questions. So we're going to answer it for you guys, give you guys a little life update because I feel like we haven't chatted with you guys in a long time. We're going to be giving you behind the scenes of everything that's been going on behind the cameras, off camera, between the wedding and everything. We should honestly even tell them some wedding mishaps that we heard after the fact so stay tuned because in the middle throughout this video somewhere we are going to be mentioning the catastrophic events that occurred during our wedding that luckily played out in our favor because of one person and one person only but you're gonna to have to keep watching to honest, in order to hear that. I, well I, I think I do but you know what it is you can start it and then I can uh, okay so I feel like a lot of the questions we're asking about kids which I'm not answering that first yet that's gonna be I'm gonna wait a little bit get you guys <laughs> ramped up so no that's the biggest question but also another big thing is the house stuff but first i want to talk about the wedding let's get the wedding questions out of the way yeah someone asked was there any drama at the wedding Ooh, we're kind of starting off with a little wedding hmm i don't was there drama no there wasn't really drama wait i thought there was there's some drama about the wedding but we can't talk about it <laughs> no we can't. we can't talk about it it was, just keeping some no, people. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, how do we explain? No, I can explain. I can explain it, it without bad. actually explaining it. it. So we're there. There was people that were upset about a certain situation because they weren't. Okay, okay. I, I don't. I don't think we should say too much. You gotta say too much. No, because honestly, at the end of the day, I feel like it was over exaggerated. And some people didn't take something in, in a certain way that we didn't mean it at all. If you guys don't know this, we actually are in People's Magazine, and that was a really cool thing that we had, that did come out of the wedding. Yeah, we got featured in People's Magazine, which was insane. But let me just say there were some things about that that triggered some things to just having to be talked out and stuff. It, it was like a lot of behind the scenes stuff during our honeymoon that we were talking with a lot of people and trying to get some people to understand like our side of things and like I don't know I feel like people were mad at us for some reason and like it's all over with now it's we all, fine like, now. We all love each it's other it's fine now but it was, it was in the moment of this specific thing. I know it's and so big. I know you guys are so confused, but we can't really talk about it. And that. we have no, um, we had no say so in this either. Like mm -hmm. we got told to do something and then it, we had no control. And I feel like we always try like helping people out. We and, like, doing stuff. That's like the thing with me and Bill is so, like, our hearts are so big and we never intentionally not no, and, and the fact thing. that like some certain thing people were like, which I guess they don't know us, but like at the end of the day, or a, a someone was like annoyed at us because they thought it was our fault. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it, in reality, it wasn't. Yeah, we're just not, we're just not the drama type. Yeah. So we're trying to keep that up. But don't ask any more about that because like I am just solely respecting people that were a part of our wedding yeah. that we loved we so loved much and did everything. such an amazing job. It's just after the fact that like definitely thinking got crossed and mm -hmm. you know, I think a lot of or but over exaggeration. Other than that, no, there was really no drama. Everyone was happy. I'm not even kidding. Everyone to this day still says that was probably one of the best weddings they've been to, and it was. It's honestly the best feeling ever that the wedding honestly went really smoothly. There really weren't any errors. The only errors were song mess ups, which that's yeah. not even a big thing. No, no, and then our first dance because my dress was so big and I it was very hard to dance in, and we couldn't even bustle it all the way because we had to hurry and get out there. There was so much. There was so much, but no, everything was perfect. I know it was the thing a lot of people were asking too like was there any like mishaps yes and no not really honestly everything was perfect in my eyes right i think everything was amazing and it couldn't have gone any better the weather the whole day the events everyone most of i'd say 99.9 .9 of everything was exactly how we planned it mm -hmm. but that was not all of the stuff that happened during the wedding which we will be talking about 
towards the. No, I want to know. I want to know. I want to know what it is. But you. You know like, what it is. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Oh my god. Okay. I don't know it. Also, another big question, and I know we answered this in, in one of our other videos, but everyone wants to know the cost of our wedding. And as much as I would love to share that with you guys and break down, because I know a lot of people on TikTok will break down their expenses of the wedding. At the end of the day, me and Bill are just not very flashy people. We like to keep that stuff to ourselves. And it's not that we're being selfish or that we don't want to share it with you guys. It's just a simple fact that I feel like money is just very touchy. Yeah. And I just, we just want to, I don't know. I don't know. In the so, like we did spend a lot on our wedding and our wedding is not like the typical wedding and that's okay we definitely we wanted to go above and beyond yeah thankfully like financially we are able to be in a position where we're blessed enough to get almost everything we could have ever dreamt for to be a part of our wedding and we just we know for ourselves this wedding was everything that we've ever wanted and the fact that it turned out exactly how we pictured it was worth every penny yeah. it was not cheap at all no. um i know one of our past videos we've mentioned it was definitely over fifty thousand mm -hmm. dollars it, it was definitely way over that I just, I was giving you a rough estimate because I looked up and the average wedding is about 40, 50K. So that's what I was saying. Ours was definitely way above the average wedding, which is still insane to me yeah. that 50,000 is the average wedding. That's a lot. That's I feel like funny. my parents' wedding was 20,000. That's crazy. And they had everything and they had like 200 people. Like they had so many things going on. Yeah. Okay, so the next question you guys really want to know about and we're actually really excited to share with you guys. This is a big one. Is about our new house. Okay. So as you okay. know, we do own a house right now. This house that we are living in, we do own it. A lot of people were like, "Do you rent it? Like, what are you like? What are you doing?" We own this house. So we bought this house back in 2021 mm -hmm. in May. We actually closed on it the day before, before my birthday. birthday. Yeah. Or I thought we closed on the 25th. My birthday is May 27th. Maybe, I don't remember what day it was, but anyways. But we closed on it either the day before or two days before my birthday. I really think it was maybe the 25th, but it may be 26th. Yeah. Either way, that's when we bought the house. We were so blessed. We did the house tour, the empty house tour. We filmed it for you guys, and you can see the whole process of how the house has changed and got to the state that it's at right now. We had nothing. The house was completely P yellow. Yeah, it was ugly. The ground was tile, square, yellow floor. All the light fixtures were bulbs, and all of the door handles were like brass and brown, and, and the fans ugly. were brown, and we didn't even have this counter. The counter was a double counter. Yeah, it was ugly. Like the breakfast bar with ugly, yellow not, particle not. board countertop. Yeah. And that's fine, that's fine. But like for what we were looking for and like we film and stuff, oh my gosh, the house didn't have one accent wall. It was a beautiful home, but it needed some renovation. Okay, you just went on a full rampage. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm passionate yeah. about the things uh, that have changed in our house to make so, it the marble house that it is today. So when we first moved here, like, oh my gosh, we want to build. We want to build so bad, but we needed to get into a home ASAP because we were living at Bill's parents' house that was down here. We did think about building the first one, yeah, right? we did. Yeah, which would have been dumb. But. Um, so um, we stayed here for three years, and then we were looking on Zillow, and I said, after the wedding, we want to move into our next home. We want to be moved in. And we were looking months and months and months just and months. Just going at it on Zillow, and, and it was hurting our eyes and our brains. I was, just, find I was just at a point where I was like, oh my God, like all these houses that we want, like yes, we could move into a house and remodel the whole thing, yes. But I just feel like we're spending all this money on this house and then we're gonna spend even more money remodeling this house. And then we wanna, this wanna be, this next home, we want it to be our home that we're gonna be in for a very, 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 very long time. And so our realtor was like, you know what, why don't you guys just build? Let's just get you a lot, buy a lot, which we bought a lot, which is absolutely stunning. This is another video. If you have not seen, make sure to put that on your watch list for after this one. Yeah, it's I the think whole it's process. called We Bought Land and blah, We blah. show you actually the property a little bit yeah. as well. It's like a huge corner lot, half an acre. It's beautiful neighborhood. Stunning stunning right by the water oh my god it's so gorgeous and we decided to build because we wanted just to have everything that we wanted in a home not have to worry about you know spending all this money and blah 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 
So we found a builder and we are starting our building process. Actually, we're gonna be really getting into it in two days. And we haven't mentioned to them either that we picked out a house, right? Yeah, we picked out a house. We've mentioned it on Snapchat. So if you guys don't follow us on Snapchat, yes. that is where we post all of our That's like our day-to-day -day vlog. Mine is Mariah Cove. Actually, my um, Snapchat name will be changing to Mariah Ritter, but as of right now, it's Mariah with two H's and then C-O-V and then yours is what? It's Bill Ritter with two R's at the end of Bill Ritter. But and we we posted that we picked a plan and we are super excited because this brings me to the next question about our house which is what is your house gonna look like or give me a little sneak peek of what we should expect in the marble house coming 2025 hopefully yeah he said what's your dream what's your goal and we said summer and he's like that's doable so we're but, hoping for sometime in 2025 our yes. house gets complete. I'm hoping, I'm praying. Mm -hmm. I don't care when it gets finished in 2025, I just care. I hope it gets finished next year. Mm -hmm. So really quick, the main things, because it's like, there's a million things we could explain about the house, but just to give y'all a rough estimate of what it's going to be like. It is going to be a 3,400 square foot monster home <laughs> with a three car garage, two stories, Two stories. Four bedrooms, an office. So that's like five. And a bonus room, which we're gonna turn into like a game room with a pool table, maybe stuff like that. It's gonna be like our kids like hangout session too. Top balcony. We have a balcony. Pool with a sun shelf and a hot tub because we don't have one of those here. Mm -hmm. And that's what we've always we wanted. We have a heater for our pool, which is like we'll a hot tub. We'll utilize a hot tub like, more than a heated pool. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Just because a hot tub you just dip in, dip out, you know, and the mm -hmm. sun shelf you can lay out and tan. Mm -hmm. It's gonna have a cage on the back of Which it. I'll be in my pool a lot more than I am here. Cause it's like, I don't know, I'm like not feeling this pool. I feel like bugs get in a lot because our cage. Well, it's because the cage, cage. is not there. Yeah, I miss our pool cage. And on top of that, the living room, the kitchen, the dining area is all one huge open oh layout God, in the insane. front entryway. You'll just see this huge 12 foot ceiling. Chandeliers. Hopefully a, a big chandelier um, by the, the door. We have like, we want like wood flooring, which is actually crazy that we're saying that because I feel like we're very bright, which wood is very bright. It's a very light, light, light wood mm -hmm. color. It's very modern. Um, this house is gonna be oh my God. insane. And on top of that, for like everything that I just explained, the house, like, it, it's it's actually not terribly priced because we're building it. Like if Honestly, we were buying yeah. this already finished, it would be probably double as expensive. So the fact that we're building it and we're putting the time and effort into waiting and building and putting in the months and months of preparation and waiting, mm -hmm. it's actually gonna save us a lot of money in the future. So in the future, which I don't ever want to sell the home, it'll be worth way more than what we built Which it. to be honest, I feel like this is gonna be a house I just wanna stay at probably for a very long time. I don't know, I used to be where I'm like, oh, I want this like massive house. Which it is massive. It is massive. But for Florida, like 3,400 square feet. It's big. It, no, it's 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 giant. Chicago, where we used to live, the, the for 300 grand, you can get a 5,000 square foot home. Yeah. 5,000 square foot. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the difference. The building costs in Florida is so much. Also because our house, just for all of the windows, all, of the, windows, windows. all the windows are basically gonna be bulletproof. Yeah. It's gonna be a fortress house. Yeah, it is. And the houses in Florida, I don't know if y'all know also, they're made out of concrete block and hurricane proof windows that can withstand impacts up to 300 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. Guys, it's crazy. I am just, this house is so dreamy. That's what like, makes it expensive. Make sure you guys follow us on Snapchat because you guys will be a part of the whole building process. We're also gonna take you guys on here through the whole building process. Yeah, and we will post pictures on our Instagram as well as the process comes along. So make sure to follow us on Instagram as well. And the most of all, holy grail, we are going to be taking YouTube video updates and showing y'all the process of the house being built in the skeleton phase. That's what I call it when it's just wood and cinder block, mm -hmm. nothing inside, through it's being finished. So, I'm so yeah. Oh my god, I'm so excited. We're all right, we can like talk ecstatic. all day about this. Yeah. yeah but it's it, gonna be it's gonna be insane. It's gonna be where we're gonna raise our kids, and that's where I'm getting and gonna get into the next topic mm -hmm. that every single one of you guys, I am not kidding, is so excited for. Well, because it was the wedding stuff, and now that we've been married and there's nothing else ahead of us but the a next question of about kids. You 
you guys are wondering, when are we gonna have kids? Am I pregnant? Blah, 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 blah. So I will say this, a lot of you guys were coming for me, not coming for me in a negative way, like you guys were all just like commenting. In our engagement, our rehearsal day, right before the day before the wedding, I was wearing a white dress and I was kind of bloated that day and a lot of you guys thought I looked pregnant. Um, no, I'm not pregnant. I am not pregnant yet. To be honest, we're just not ready yet, which is okay. We want to wait until our new home is built. It could happen sooner. I'm not stopping it. I'm not saying, oh, we're not having kids until 2025. I, I just think we want to enjoy our marriage and like we want kids so bad, but at the same time, we don't want kids so bad because we've only been married for a month and we want to experience life and traveling still together. Now, if anything happens, like we're going to be above and beyond. Oh, yeah. Ecstatic. We, we love kids. We, we love love kids. kids so I'm bad. a kid guy. Like, I love every time my cousins are over or every time I'm around a little baby. Like, I just like yeah. love playing and hanging out with kids because like I just had that natural like dad instinct I guess mm -hmm. you can call it and to me it doesn't even feel like a job it feels fun I know when we have our own child it's gonna feel crazy I, uh, there's gonna be a thousand emotions but we are not saying no but I we think definitely I'm just really wait. content right now yeah, yeah, like yeah. I'm really happy with my three cats I don't mm -hmm. know those are just my children right now and like I don't know I want to get into our new home not that this house would be bad to raise kids in I just I don't know I want to wait and this house would be perfect to, to oh, raise a 100%. baby oh 100% yeah but it's I, actually gonna be sad that I'm not gonna have our kids in this home I know but we're not we're gonna be like, keeping this up for our kids will feet. yeah I know but our kids will probably never live in this home I know unless we move back here which well, unless we an accident that, yeah. not an accident happens but we get pregnant before we move out yeah that too. But um, or things fall through and something happens. Yeah, as of right now, we are not fully like ready yet. I think we're just so focused on building this new home. Like this new home is gonna be where we raise our kids, and I just want it to be perfect. And I'm honestly scared of pregnancy too. I don't know. I'm, I'm just a little scared. I know I'm gonna kill it and I'm gonna do really good, but I'm just also nervous for that. You're gonna do good. You're gonna do awesome. It's just like one of those things that you can't really ever prepare for. Yeah, I know. But you're gonna, your natural mom instincts are gonna come out. You're gonna start cooking me dinners every night. I'm gonna start laying on the couch, drinking booze, and Ew, watching the football wow. game, Ew, getting a dad no, on. No, he's not. I'm no, kidding, not. I'm kidding, kidding. <laughs> but we're gonna, our natural instincts are gonna come out, and, and I feel like we're gonna do a bomb job. And something. also, when I wanna be preg when I get pregnant, I wanna, in our new home, we're gonna get a gym, and I want that at home gym. And here we don't have room for the at home gym. Not that yeah. I wouldn't go to the actual gym when I'm pregnant, but like I think I'd feel more comfortable being at home working out. If we had a shed to put all of our stuff in, we would have room for an at home gym. Yeah, we're just waiting. But for I also ourselves. like that all of our stuff's in the garage because it just seems more secure. Yeah. Our next home is gonna have triple the amount of storage. Oh my gosh. So like Insanity. we're gonna have storage, like since we have a two story, underneath the stairs, there's gonna be a huge closet kind of thing underneath the stairs that we can utilize for storage. There's attic space that I could tap into and I'm not really gonna mention it to the builders, but after they're done building the house, actually I might mess mention it because there's a good spot in the attic where we can fit a lot of stuff on the two story section. So like, we're gonna have a lot of stuff. We might even build an extra shed in the back because that's the main thing in Florida. Oh, we have like, a you don't big really backyard have too. A lot of storage. Well, oh, we forgot to mention, the lot is two times the size of our current lot. That's huge. The lot, the land. So just the dirt area that you own. It's double the size. And we look out to our balcony, we'll see the water. Oh my God. What's crazy going, though what? is that house is meant to be built on a lot this size. That is crazy. So the fact that it's gonna be on a double lot, we're gonna have so much space for our kids yes, to, run, to around run around. And, and for us put in a pickleball court in the future. Oh, we want that so, I want that so bad. We're not gonna do that yet probably. No, not yet. But if that, you know. If That'll be our that next task. Come, we're first doing the house. Let's get the house done yeah. and out the way. Yeah. Really quick before we answer the last question of this video, I had mentioned in the beginning that we had some things behind the scenes go wrong at our wedding. Well, some of those included a vendor. Oh yeah, vendor back down. Didn't even show up. We were planning on doing the permanent bracelets, yeah. permanent anklets and we stuff. We were gonna calculate it at the end to see how many people actually- Didn't even show up, so I don't know what happened with that. On top of that, one of our vendors forgot on accident to bring any tablecloths. So, literally a half hour before our reception in our wedding, we had no tablecloths. Well, we didn't know that. We, we, we didn't had know no that. idea until We didn't know wedding. that. And we were just gonna be eating on the wooden foldable tables. <laughs> So our wedding planner kicked butt, went to like four or five different stores, yeah. found tablecloths, and brought them to the venue. Otherwise, we would have been screwed. 
We would have been absolutely like done for. Uh, yeah, that would have been really bad. Especially they came last minute and yeah, Taylor is the G. Taylor literally made everything so perfect. Literally, like those two things, like it was insane because our reception was almost gonna be a disaster and we would have had to like, I don't even know what we would have done if we didn't find table calls. Oh, I just wish we could talk to you guys all day long. Like, I know. I, I, we have so much to talk about and so many things to go over. There's, there's so much going on and like we can go so into detail and I know we went a little much into detail about certain things because we want to keep yeah. some things on the DL. Honestly, a lot of these questions are just about our wedding, the house, and kids. And I guess we could finish it off. How does it feel being married? And is there do we does life? Feel that's different? a great yeah. That, that's a great way to end it. Y'all had a lot of amazing questions. So I'm actually in the works of changing my last name. Oh yeah, we should be getting her social security card Soon. any day now. And, and then I'm gonna go in and change my license. Yeah. Um, my credit card stuff. By the time that you're watching this, probably we'll have all the information and we'll already be changing everything over. But literally, we are so close to being the Ritters. The Ritters. Which I already am officially, but like I feel official when it's on my license and on my social security card and on all my other stuff. Yeah, no, 100%. I do feel different being husband and wife. Like I know we've been together for seven years now. I feel like the title of it just makes me feel closer. That's a know. huge question that everybody's been asking me, my whole family, because I just went to Chicago and their only question was, so how is it like being a husband? How is marriage tweet treating you? How do you feel? Because every friend, everyone has been asking that question and mm -hmm. I'm sure all of y'all asked the same thing. Let me just tell you, it feels amazing because it feels like secure. It also feels like a dream because it's something that Mariah and I have literally talked about since we've started dating. Mm -hmm. Just like I'm sure a lot of you converse with your significant other about, oh, one day we're gonna get married. Well, we're here, we're literally married, we have the ring and on top of that, we feel like connected yeah. more. It's not that we didn't before, we do, and it feels the same. It's just, yeah. I don't know, that title is just, I love husband and it wife. It feels the same, it. but until you start saying, oh, my wife wants to eat steak, or hey, it's my husband so wants cool. a Coca-Cola at like restaurants and stuff, that's when you start being like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's when I realized it on our honeymoon when I it's said, official. yeah, my, my wife will have the, and I'm like, holy crap, I have to stop. <laughs> but all in all, like we appreciate all of your questions and I hope we were able to touch on like all or most of the topics that y'all yeah. have been wondering throughout this whole process. I know we haven't really had a one on one or two on one. Uh, two on four million two subscribers. On, yeah, two on four million. We just hit four million. Yeah, no, we didn't even get to do a video. Oh my, oh my gosh. God. I know every time. Yo. Dude, every time we hit a milestone, it's either we are not by each other or we're sleeping. We hit it while I was in Chicago. Like, the be day so that I real. left, when we were apart from each other. Like, be so for real. I'm gonna make a post. I totally forgot. We're gonna make a post on YouTube on our um, community posts about hitting four mil. If you did not see that, make sure to go comment down below that you saw it or heard it from this video, and I will be there to we heart. We love you guys and so much. You. you guys are literally our world and more. Like, I am just so grateful for the life we have, the life we get to share with you guys it is the best feeling ever so thank you all so much for watching this video we love you and we will see you in the next one but until then peace, peace. Love, love you guys, guys.